Hi everyone, this is Lan, the assistant for our math problem of the day. This time, let's do some algebra tricks when solving equations involving fractional exponents that are quadratic in form. Here is our problem. x raised to 5 over 3 plus 2x raised to 4 over 3 minus 3x is equal to 0. Find the value of x. Notice that we have here an improper fraction 5 over 3 which can be written as a mixed number. 5 over 3 is equal to 1 and 2 thirds when written as a mixed number. Also, this fractional exponent 4 over 3 can also be written as a mixed number 1 and 1 third. Because of this, this x raised to 5 over 3 can be written as x times x raised to 2 over 3 because it is implied that the exponent of x here is 1. When we multiply exponential numbers with the same base, we copy the common base x and we add the exponent 1 plus 2 thirds which is 1 and 2 thirds or 5 over 3. In other words, I am just rewriting x raised to 5 over 3 into factors x and x raised to 2 third. So we applied here the converse of law of exponent number 1. Given the product, we can split them into two factors. Let's do the same for 2x raised to 4 over 3. We can rewrite this as 2 and split x to 4 thirds as x times x raised to 1 third. Then we just copy minus 3x equals 0. Notice now that x x and x is common among the three terms. So factoring out now this common factor x, we have x times this expression x times x raised to two-thirds divided by x gives us x raised to two-thirds. Then 2x times x raised to one-third divided by x gives us 2 times x raised to one-third. And then negative 3x divided by x gives us negative 3 then copy equals 0. This resulting part here is quadratic in form because if this happens to be 2 instead of 2 third and this happens to be 1 instead of 1 third, then you have a quadratic equation in the form a raised to 2 plus 2a minus 3 equals 0. So let's do the necessary substitution. We look at the literal coefficient of the middle term, that is x raised to 1 third, and we let that to be equal to any variable. In this case, let that variable be equal to a. And it follows that a squared, therefore, is this x raised to 1 third raised to the second, which is simplified as x raised to 2 thirds. Notice now that this x raised to 1 third is this literal coefficient, and this x raised to 2 thirds is now this literal coefficient. So that means this part here can now be written in terms of the variable a. So we now have this. We copy x. Instead of x raised to 2 thirds, which is this part, we use our substitution a squared. And instead of x raised to 1 third, which is this part, we use our substitution a. We copy the 2. We copy the minus 3. We copy equals 0. Let's continue in the next page. So from this part, notice that a squared plus 2a minus 3 is factorable. And the factor of this trinomial is the quantity a plus 3 times the quantity a minus 1. We copy the x and we copy equals 0 to arrive at the next line. We now have here three factors whose product is 0. That means in order for the product of these three factors to be 0, at least one of them must be equal to 0. That means x is equal to 0 or a plus 3 equals 0 or a minus 1 equals 0. At the leftmost part, we already have our solution for x. x is equal to 0. But the second and the third are still expressed in terms of our dummy variable a. So we still need to go back to our substitution and replace this a by the value of a which is equal to x raised to one third. But first, let's solve this for a. Subtracting three from both sides, we arrive at a equals negative three. And then replace this a by x raised to one third. And then simplifying, we raise both sides to the third exponent. The left side is equal to x. And negative three raised to third is equal to negative 27. So we now have our second value for x, which is negative 27. The first one was x equals 0. 
Now for the third, let's solve this first for a. Adding 1 to both sides of the equation gives us a equals 1. And we now replace this a by our substituted value, x raised to 1 third. And so we have this next line. And then raise both sides to the third in order to simplify the left side to x. And 1 cube is equal to 1. This is now our third solution, x equals 1. So we have three answers, x equals 0, x equals negative 27, and x equals positive 1. Now let's check if all these answers are valid given the original equation. Let's also watch out for any possible extraneous roots. So to check, if x equals 0, then we substitute 0 for x, we have this line, but 0 raised to 5 thirds is 0, 0 raised to 4 thirds is also 0, and 2 times 0 is still 0, and negative 3 times 0 is still 0. So clearly, this equation is correct. Now let's go to x equals 1. If x equals 1, we replace this x, this x, and this x by 1, and we simplify. 1 raised to any exponent is equal to 1. So that means 1 raised to 5 thirds is 1. 1 raised to 4 thirds is still 1. And so, this first term is 1. This second term is 2 times 1. And this third term is negative 3 times 1. Simplifying, we have 1 plus 2 minus 3 equals 0, which is clearly correct. So x equals 0 is correct. And x equals 1 is also a valid solution. Now let's check for x equals negative 27. So we replace x by negative 27. Negative 27 raised to 5 thirds is equal to negative 3 raised to exponent 5. Negative 27 raised to 4 thirds can be simplified as negative 3 raised to the fourth, then copy times 2, and copy all the rest. Negative 3 raised to 5th is negative 243. 2 times negative 3 raised to the 4th is equal to 162. And negative 3 times negative 27 is 81. So 162 plus 81 is 243 minus 243. That also gives us 0. So therefore, x equals negative 27 is also a valid solution of our original equation. So for our final answers, the roots of x raised to 5 thirds plus 2x raised to 4 thirds minus 3x equals 0 are x equals 0, x equals negative 27, and x equals positive 1.